Hello, my beautiful light bearing family. This is Enigma here, and I'm very grateful that you're tuning into my vlog. So, quarantine. As we've discussed, this is such a beautiful opportunity for us all to go inward and really build up our spiritual muscles. So, today I'm going to take you through a practical steps to get into the meditative state. And we are really blessed to have this time, there's so much spare time in quarantine, to be able to be in this state more. I know some of you would have only had a chance maybe to do 15 minutes a day when we used to have that life out there where we were busy and we were working a lot and we had all these demands that society placed on us, which are all at the moment relaxed. So now we can really spend good time communing with our creator through meditation. And just before I do get into the steps of meditation, I just want to remind you what it is. So meditation is where we leave this reality, this human plane, this existence on the physical realm, and we, we leave it. And we can do that. And we go to a place where we connect with our source, with our creator, with unconditional love. And when we disconnect from this physical plane and go and commune with our creator, amazing things happen, right? I don't need to remind you. As light workers, we are from the light. So we recognize it's home when we return to this light space in meditation. And through that process, there's added benefits. We calm down. We get out of the fight, flight or freeze mechanisms of our brain. We start to operate from a unified place without polarities of love, hate, fear, good, bad. We start to reverse the aging process. So they've pr proven the telomeres actually lengthen, I believe. So we start to look and feel younger when we return to our physical body after meditation. And of course, it enables us a rest from this world, this hectic world this world of polarities, of confusion of our ego. And speaking of ego, we don't have an ego when we're in a meditative state. When we're in one with God, our ego takes a back seat, doesn't it? And we all have that experience of sometimes struggling a little bit before we can get to that unified place. The thoughts keep running through and they very noisy and we want to push them away and sometimes we resist and they keep coming back and I'm going to talk you through that a little bit as well. So, step one, find yourself a lovely dark place. The darker the better. What we really want to do is reduce all function of our five 3D senses, right? We want to get away from this physical reality. So reduce the dark, reduce the light so that we no longer have the vision of sight. The next thing is I suggest get a pair of noise cancelling headphones. Now that is a little bit exorbitant or perhaps a little bit indulgent. You don't need them. If you can put earphones in or something to block your ears. Um, ideally though, you want to block out all sound as well. So... Mine are great. I enjoy them very much. They were a gift. I wouldn't normally have something so luxurious. But you pop on those. And then once you've got, you're in a dark place, you have your earphones if possible, at least a quiet place, then I would suggest a blindfold. Now I have a very fancy blindfold here. It's specially designed to block out all light. Um, I just pop that on and I really get into a quite a separate place from my senses. So right now I am very much blocking my sight and my hearing. And immediately it helps 
quieting the ego, which is um, constantly being triggered by what you hear and see. So the narratives, the stories behind what you hear and see can be removed or easier put to the side. So I won't continue with this on. So once you've got that all together, the next thing you want to do is start breathing deep, inward breath, as, as much emptying of the lungs as you can do, hold, preferably for at least four seconds, and then out, preferably for at least four, five, six seconds. You really want to empty the lungs. And then you just complete that as a cycle, round and round, breathing in, hold, out, in, hold, out, until you get into a rhythm where you feel so relaxed. And there's a little key, there's a secret about breathing that we're not taught in school. And that is that when you start breathing slowly, that um, survival instinct that humans have in our brains starts to relax. So the fight, flight and freeze defense mechanisms are put to the side. The body is told it's in a safe place. And so you're able to actually physically relax too because the body believes it's in a safe place. So once you're in that beautiful relaxed state after breathing deeply, I want you to then just hold your heart. Because if you put your hand on your heart, in NLP, which is Neuro Linguistic Programming, uh, they teach you that you can anchor a feeling physically with touch. So I'm, what I'm going to do here is suggest that you physically touch your heart. And that's when I want you to imagine a time when you felt completely passionate. I mean, compassionate, sorry. Passionate's great too, but compassionate. When you're feeling compassionate, when you're feeling love, when you're feeling a time when you're feeling gratitude, appreciation. And it's really easy, guys, honestly. Just think of a time when you're in a meadow or a field in nature and you're just awed by the beauty that was surrounding you in nature. You were awed by the fresh air, the blue sky, the, the trees, the rivers, the, the, the grass, the plants, the animals, anything that makes you feel appreciation and compassion for the beauty that is Mother Gaia. And that's as simple as that. When you're in that estate, it's anchored with your physical touch and then it becomes easier. And you just sit there appreciating that love that's flowing around your body because it will spread it will spread and you've taken the senses out and you're just operating through love appreciation gratitude and compassion you are activating immense energy and as light workers i don't need to remind you that our hearts they have an, a magnetic um, energy that is stronger than our brains, which is an electric energy. Our hearts are far more powerful energetically, which is a gift, isn't it, guys? It's a beautiful gift. So what I do like to do is imagine the breathing tube that Eastern religions talk about, the prana tube, that prana tube that reaches from your crown chakra up to heaven and the root chakra down to earth, earthing you into Mother Gaia. And just imagine that energy flowing through from your heavens, from the heavens, uh, from your father, the creator, and straight down through your chakras, all the way into the earth. And that is just a beautiful, loving, cyclical energy that will build you up and take you to a beautiful place. All right, that's as simple as it gets. Just before we go, I wanted to show you something I framed. So this is a little saying it's backwards at the moment, I know. But it's from my fa one of my favorite spiritual leaders, Nat Khan. Look him up. He's beautiful. And he says, meditation is the ability to sit still and wait for God to carry you home.
<laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Gives me goosebumps. <laughs> All right, well, having on that note, I'm going to show you my latest painting because I love painting and this quarantine is bringing it out. I'm just going to take you up here. So this is my masterpiece. <laughs> I have painted another female uh, representing the feminine um, and the feminine balance, rebalancing on our mother Gaia at the moment. And she's free. She's dancing um, under the moonlight. And this is actually a scene I took from my camera in Canada. I think it was around Lake Louise. So uh, I hope you enjoy that. I love you so much, my beautiful light worker family. And remember, you are loving, unconditional, loving, beautiful beings. <laughs> I'll speak to you soon. Enigma signing out.